Hey, Mortgage Coach Community, Dave Savage, and today I am here with Tom Ferry. What's up, Tom? Hey, Dave. Uh, Dave, you know, I don't know if anybody ever says this, but you and I could be brothers. Uh, you know what? It, it's actually true. We we came yes. from the same clan once upon a time Yes. on an island somewhere, you know. At somewhere least our families did. Somewhere in the north where there wasn't a lot of sunshine. Yeah, no doubt. Well, I, I moved, you know, up to a place where it's a little more cellular. You know, I, I belong here on a cellular level. You're, you're staying down there in the desert, but uh, you're looking good, brother. I, hey, man, I got a big hat and I have a convertible with a top that never goes up. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, so, hey, Tom, thanks for making time to bring value to the mortgage coach community. Mm -hmm. uh, what we've been talking to our loan officers a lot about is, you know what, we got to help realtors now more than ever, yeah. not just close loans on time, keep our promises, the same <laughs> things that we've been telling them forever, but we need to help them get uh, buyers into the market. So renters yeah. to go, I need to buy now. And uh, sellers who want to move up and who should move up, like if they knew what they could get, and they knew the finances behind that decision. If they actually knew it, they'd move up. So yeah. what we've been telling um, loan officers is get out there and partner with agents. Get out there and show the move up analysis. So I guess I throw it to you knowing that you talk to, I don't know how many realtors a year or a month, but I know it's an insane amount. Yeah. Uh, what are you telling realtors that are helping drive move up buyers and getting people into the market? Look, at the end of the day, we're, we're asking our agents, first and foremost, to, to know yourself, right? To know who you are, to know the value you can deliver on and try not and get outside of that. Try and stay in your sweet spot. Um, secondly, we're asking agents to think about who are you not for? Like, who are you not here to serve, right? The, the streets are paved with gold right now and the opportunity is everywhere. And if you're paying attention to the consumer data, all of it screams one thing. Consumers want the hyper local expert. They don't want to work with a generalist. And I'm not just talking about half the, you know, half the opportunity, the millennials under age 36, all of them are saying the same thing. So, so I'm saying to my agents and with their loan officer, with their title rep, with all of their partners in business, we need to over index on marketing in a relevant way in 2017, which really still is Dave, 50% of it is going to be what some of us would call old school and 50% all new school. So tried and true open houses, direct mail, farming, newsletters, seminars, education, get the word out and then do all the same stuff online, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and more. Does that make sense? Makes, makes total sense. And so, I mean, for the mortgage coach community, we've always believed in winning by being uber personalized. Yes. Uh, you know, it's great to say, hey, owning is better than renting or moving up makes sense in this yeah. kind of generic market sure. trend way. Uh, yeah. But we've always, especially in today's market, the number one thing that we're training people on is the move up analysis, where yep. you could meet with the family and say, what do you believe rates are going to do? Yep. Pretty much everybody says, I think they're going to move up. What do you think values are going to do? Uh, pretty much everybody says they're going to go up. Now, do you want to stay at this house at this value or do you want to move up into this house at this value? And what does that mean to you over three years, five yeah. years, 15 yeah. years? So, you know, how, how do we get more agents and lenders to work together to tell this story to the right people? Any, I, any suggestions? I, I will tell you that um, as you say that, it makes my heart sing because, you know, we are big believers in those of us who know what to say can deliver meaningful, respectful value to prospects, past clients, people in our sphere, right? So I say there's a few questions, Dave, that everybody in the, in the mortgage coach world should, should take on and then work with their agent partners to begin to ask more people. So question number one, really simple, is, hey, have you guys had any thoughts of selling? Have you guys had any thoughts of selling? And the more genuine, the more real, the more you build rapport and engage, you know, some trust and, you know, remove the, the sales wall of, oh my God, there's no inventory and we need houses to sell. But instead, like, you know, Dave, like I know you guys are living in California and you're as lily white as I am. I'm just curious, have you guys had any thoughts of selling? And of course, the vast majority of people, they're not sitting there waiting for you to make that phone call. And they're certainly not like, God, when's Dave going to call me and ask me if I've had any thoughts of selling? But what happens is you ask that question, you plant the seed. 
and and people get activated and they start thinking about it. Well, you know, I don't know, like, you know. Uh, so the second question is, well, Dave, are you guys living in your dream home now? Are you Good living question. in your dream home now? And, and look, there's nothing about that that's salesy because, you know, if you're not, there may not be a better time than right now. And look, you and I both know um, the Oracle, as I refer to him, Steve Harney. Uh, it doesn't matter what my opinion is. The data, the data tells us there are 17, um, 17 points, if you will, of the Consumer Confidence Index. 17, they're all at decade-long highs per the Oracle. And right. you can Google this and check it out. Understanding that and understanding the economy, understanding the low cost of money today, there's never been a greater time truly than right now. But if we say that, we're just a knucklehead salesperson. But if we lean with, have you had any thoughts of selling? Are you living in your dream home now? Let me send you a report. Let me send you some information. Let me show you what a lot of smart people are doing today. You know, I'm not asking if you like want to sell your house. I'm asking if, do you want to take advantage of the market? Does that make sense? It makes total sense. And mortgage coach community, I mean, that perfect time. And to teach your agents, ask those two questions and then ask them, what do you believe interest rates are going to do or be in yep. six months to a year? What do you think values are going to be in six months to a year? And then go, would you like us to put together a move up analysis so that you could see um, how what you have, what that's going to look like in three years and five years and what that move up might look like? Would you like me to have my lender put together a move up analysis for you? Yeah. Yeah. So, so here's a struggle I have, Tom. By the way, anybody who's watching this and you've heard move up analysis, rent versus own, you're watching this from YouTube. We'll put some links below in the little description that you can check out a move up or a rent versus own. So check those out. I'll put them in there. And also I'll put in a, a video or two to a top mortgage coach loan officer so that you can hear what they're saying and how they're saying it. But I've been hearing this too, where top mortgage coaches, they're meeting with top agents and then and the agents say, yeah, I'll send you five buyers or I'll, I, I could think of 10 sellers that would be great candidates. And then they're not sending up. And I, sure. I think like they're either too busy. You know, I don't, I don't know why. Why do you think they're not doing it? What, what do you have for agents? Like work with your lender, put them to work. It, it's not that, the, look, like you and I both know there's a lot of solo entrepreneurs in the real estate industry who, who aren't playing chess, right? They don't understand that, you know, you and I working together, we can accomplish more together than we can individually. Right. So if I'm really smart with my lender. I'm asking myself, what are his or her strengths? Where, where is she at her best? Where can she deliver maximum value? Where can she make me look good and make her look good? And, and together we grow together. Most people are not thinking about that. Most agents, and I'm not saying the vast majority of the mortgage coach, um, you know, loan officers are working with agents that fall into this category, but some of them do. They're still trying to figure out where their next deal comes from. So they struggle. If they, if they haven't solved the, the biggest issue in real estate, which is lead generation, lead conversion, it's really hard for them to then say, how do I craft an email message to empower my client to work with my loan officer? So, so if I was a, a lender today, I would do the same thing every brokerage does, which is I, I would say, here's my top producers, right? Here's the movable middle and here's my new agents. And, and this conversation is to me more of the top producers and the movable middle who is starting, you know, they've gone from 11 transactions a year forever to 18 to 22 to 25. And they're starting to figure out like I'm running a business. In my opinion, that's who that message is for. And it's not Dave that every agent on the planet shouldn't do this, but they're in survival, right? That's the reality. Point, they're they're wondering point. where their next check is going to come from. And is their spouse going to be happy? And are the kids going to, you know, get the clothes they need? And they're, they're empowering loan officers saying, Hey, who do you know that you should send this to? And they're like, you just got to keep perspective. A confused mind is not a yeah. buying mind. And so, by the way, great point. And that also makes, you know, reminds me. So for every mortgage coach that you've had a conversation with your agent and they didn't, they said, yeah, let's do it. And they didn't, you yeah. know, what? they didn't understand it well enough. So either you didn't provide a compelling enough move up analysis. So they really like, oh my God, I get it. I've got now, buyers like that. Go ahead. Yeah. You had a thought. Now, one thing I would throw out is look, you can sit down with, you know, sit down with your agent and say, 
why don't we do a video together and not a not a mass but a me right like seth godin's me mail versus email where you know uh, sally and i are sitting together and we're like you know hi dave this is sally my loan officer you know me um sally ran something past me and i really wanted you to get the message and i know you're busy so we thought we'd just put this on a video and just send it to you direct so sally this is my you know my wonderful client dave worked with him forever he's bought two houses for me he referred me like an ungodly amount of people like i love this guy could you share what you share with me and then sally goes well hi dave and this is all just on a video and i know you guys aren't into video either am i um but if you were into video that personal messaging to the agent now now i'm i'm teeing up the agent we're making it more you know client specific beautiful and most importantly you're making it easy for the agent to bang out five or six of those right i would do that yeah. By the, by the way, we are seeing our community do that. Good. They're doing the move up analysis. They put it together. And then the agent is like, hey, John and Sue, I brought Danny Harani, my, my loan officer. He'll explain these numbers. I'd love to have a meeting. Now, by the way, it's not happening a lot. You yeah. know, I mean, that. let's face it. You've got to be pretty comfortable with video. Again, but you should be doing it. So, yeah. so hey, look, can I just go on the record to say uh, resources versus resourcefulness? Like you, you can't like the streets are paved with gold right now. If you're blaming yeah. resources in a 2017 environment, when you look down and all you see is gold, like get out a hammer and chisel, <laughs> find, you know, five guys, like do whatever, like this is a whatever it takes market because it is, the, I mean, I know you're seeing it on the mortgage side, we're seeing it on the agent side. It oh, is yeah. the uber rich and the rest. Yeah. No, the difference between the kill, the people that yeah. are killing it and the rest is getting, it's, it's growing. So. 100%. So last thoughts, everybody. We put a couple analysis below. Also, uh, reminder, download our apps. If you're a realtor and you don't know what a move up analysis is, the link below will download a mortgage coach app and you can see what your buyer will see. Also, download our new app, My Nest. Think of it as a, a real estate camera. Uh, check that out. Uh, very simple to use. Download it, take a picture, shoot a video, add an audio note. Uh, just a great tool to, to use. Tom, I know you're doing events all around the country all the time. I believe in you. I believe in your events. Not only should our lenders be going to them so that they're smart, they know as much or more than agents, they should be going with their agents. So how do they get signed up? How do they go to you know anything that has your name on it? So first of all, thank you. I appreciate that coming from you with your, you know, your network and influence. That means a lot. Um, TomFerry.com forward slash events. And, and look, I know I'm preaching to the choir here. We all know the old body in motion remains in motion until acted upon by an outside force. We'll do 130 events in the US, Canada, Mexico, and Europe this year. And at the end of the day, what do we know? When someone goes to an event and they're with their loan officer partner, the enthusiasm, the new ideas, the, hey, we can do this, the collaboration, the combined energy creates those sparks of magic and we get that burst in productivity. And, and you know, for me, like it's my, my, my entire executive team. I want them going to a conference once a quarter because I want them coming back energized to try new stuff. So whether it's my events or somebody else's events, everybody knows the power of it. Um, we just do more events than anybody else. So check out tomferry.com forward slash events and you know, come with a couple of your best agent buddies or maybe better yet, come with a couple people that you're looking to partner with because we do, Dave, as you do, a lot of a team up produces an individual. And I say to all these solo agents, you have a team. Your lender's on your team. Your title rep's on your team. You're just doing a piss poor job of collaboration and leading with them. So I kind of tee it up and make it easy for the lender to, to just activate that base. Yeah, no, that makes so sense. We call it the wealth team. You know, it's yep. the loan officer, the realtor, the financial planner, the CPA. Yep. And, and at the end of the day, you know, if you're a realtor and you're watching this, a mortgage coach is dedicated to helping your families build wealth with real estate by helping them make better mortgage decisions. You know, understand moving up in the value, understanding owning versus renting. Um, well, hey, brother, every time we get on a call, it's valuable. Uh, thank you for taking time to come here and give value to the mortgage coach community. Uh, yep. I look forward to seeing you on the road sometime soon. And thanks again. All right, buddy. Thanks so much and, and all the best to everybody in 2017. All right. Thanks.